Hey guys, it's JD from Pong's Little World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this Bluetooth keyboard made by Jellycomb. Now this is a $60 Bluetooth keyboard that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go pick this thing up. And um, I guess there's not really much more to say about it other than the fact that so far, I think this is actually a pretty high-end keyboard, at least judging by the uh, Amazon listing. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. Um, let's go ahead and start with showing you around the box. So you can see on the front, a little picture of what it looks like. You can see here it says BT1, BT2, and BT3. And that's because you could actually pair this keyboard up to three devices. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Also on the front here or the side, whatever, have a jelly comb. And on the other side, not that much. And then on the back here, uh, another picture of what it looks like along with the Amazon label right there. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Looks like you pull on these right here. And there it is. And okay. Oh, check this out. Has like a, a little protective cover. That's pretty nice. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that to be included. So there's that. That's uh, pretty cool, actually. And you have the keyboard itself along with a uh, USB-C cable. That's nice. Take this out of here. There we go. Also has the um, activate your two year warranty. So that's pretty cool along with the user manual right here. And then here is the uh, keyboard itself. Very nice, feels very solid. Apparently this is made of uh, aluminum. Yeah, there we go. Keys actually feel, yeah, I'd say they feel all right. And then I believe this button right here is for the uh, backlight because it does actually have a uh, backlight built in, which is another uh, key selling point to this thing. Looks like we have some rubber feet on the bottom. Looks like the on and off switch right here. And the, um, I would assume a charging port right there. So there it is. So I guess what I'll do now is go in and uh, give it a charge if it needs it and um, go ahead and try it out. All right, so I now have this keyboard here paired up to my iPhone XS Max along with my 2013 MacBook Air here, and also my iPhone 6S, which I have off to the side. I'll show it working with that later on. But uh, first of all, just wanna see how it works with my MacBook here. So let's go ahead and just type something random in here into the Google search bar, and there we go. And I accidentally just pressed the caps lock key there, and it's uh, that seems to be working too. There we go, okay. So far, so good. Yeah, there you go. Of course, I'm just typing, you know, random uh, letters into there. I just want to make sure, you know, that it's actually working. Now, I do want to see if there's maybe any uh, input lag or anything. And sure doesn't seem like it, actually. Yeah, no, pretty much instantly. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back here. I assume volume works. And yeah, it does. Okay. And what about uh, brightness? Yep, sure enough. Cool, and uh, I assume again caps lock. Yep, sure enough. So uh, there you go. So what I'll do now, set this clip and pair it up to my, well, it's already paired, but I'll show it working with my uh, iPhone 6S. All right, so currently it is still paired to my MacBook here. You can see if I type, it won't do anything. So let's go ahead and press the this key right here and it should, yeah, there you go, immediately pairs up. That's pretty cool. All right, you can see here, just typing random things, seems to be working. What about the lag here? Yeah, pretty much instantly. Uh, so no lag from what I could tell, so that's pretty cool. I assume caps lock, yep, caps lock uh, works. And also, you can see here, it actually works for the volume too. So that's pretty cool, and it also works for brightness. So that's very nice. Uh, numbers, yep, of course. What about the delete key? No, delete doesn't do anything, but backspace will. So there we go. Pretty cool, I assume. Uh, what about uh, arrow keys? Yep, arrow keys works too. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, so there we go. So far, it seems to be working pretty well. Um, 
that's really all I could demonstrate it on. It seems to be working fine with my MacBook, seems to be working fine with my iPhone 6S here. Uh, pairs pretty much instantly, um, so that's pretty cool. And there's also pretty much like no input lag at all, so I'm really happy to see that. There's basically, there's just zero delay between when you press the key on here and when it registers on the phone or uh, again, your computer or whatever, at least in my case, maybe depending on the age of the phone or something uh, that you're using, well, that might depend on the, uh, you know, the input time. Anyways, I guess what I'll do now, stop this clip and give you guys my final opinions. All right, so overall, what do I think of this keyboard? Well, obviously this is kind of initial impressions. I haven't had a long-term test with this thing to make sure you know, that every single thing is working and that uh, there's no, you know, glitches or anything or something like that. But so far, initial impressions, I'm pretty happy with the thing. Number one, it seems to be very well built. I really like it. You know, perfect size, pretty much, in my opinion. Feels very solid. Made of uh, metal, I believe, aluminum. Also on the back here, of course, you have your USB-C charging port, a big plus, and then you also have the little off and on switch right here. And this here, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Um, it kind of looks like maybe a little shield for like an RF light or something under there, but I kind of doubt that. Also on the bottom here, you have those rubber feet to help it grip to the table, which is also very nice. And speaking of that, yeah, okay, so it does, I mean, obviously it'll move around if you want it to, but... For just you know normal typing it's not going to move around or anything like that uh so there we go again pretty nice uh zero input input lag from what i could tell at least in my case pairs up pretty much instantly and again very well built and so far is working just fine and also you have that backlight that's one of the key selling points in my opinion um which you can see here currently it is lit up i believe this is the medium setting okay so that was the uh, maxed out brightness setting. This is off, low, medium, and high, and then off. And I'll actually switch off these uh, lights here to show you guys. And I believe, there we go, it's on. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to turn off the uh, the overhead light too. If you're using this thing in the dark, I'll probably light up pretty well, but let me do that real quick. All right, so there we go. Now with all the lights off, you can see this thing really well. Um, really nice backlight in my opinion. There, it's, uh, there is off, low, medium, and high. There you go, pretty cool. Uh, let me turn back on the lights and then I'll, uh, I'll get out of here. All right, so there it is, the review on this keyboard. Uh, again, really personally, I like it. I'd recommend it if you're looking for what seems to be a solid, good-looking keyboard. Seems to be working very well so far. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.